making use of the NIR tissue test is a key check in the Rice Check Nitrogen Management Program. This video shows you how to collect samples for the nitrogen test and how to process those samples in the field. Before heading to the paddock, grab the gear you will need such as the sampling tube, bags, a good knife, the submission form and some scales. Taking representative samples is vital. Steer clear of headlands and banks. Record the sample location on your paperwork. Remote sensing imagery can be helpful to decide on the sampling points. Nine samples need to be taken using the 0.2 meter squared ring. To take a sample, start by roughly locating the position of the ring and cutting a small area where the centre will be. This simply gives you some room to move. So I'll normally just take the, hold my wrist like that, make sure this hand is up, you're not going to cut it. But hold the plants with that up above. Cut a little area like that to start with. Give it a wash just to get rid of the slime. Just bung that in your bag. So once you've got a little bit out of the road, stick your quadrat down, then use your fingers to go around at the base. And then you'll find the rings right on the ground, just feel around and you'll have definite in and out. Once you've got that, just work around your edge. Your knife will sort of can hit up against the edge there and, um, and just continue to sample around the outside. And the... Keep cutting all rice that is inside the ring, keeping close to the soil surface. And, um, and that's my sample. So quite often then, you can tie that or just um, Roll that up and stick it in your bag. When all nine samples are cut, it's time to weigh and process the samples. Make sure you record the weights of all samples. The next step is to prepare a subsample for the NIR analysis. Three subsamples, around 100 grams each, are required from the nine field samples. What you want to do is you want to grab a little bunch because that's representative. It's got the dead leaves and stuff like that. Stick that on top. So that's about 50 grams. We'll take a few off. Make it, make it sort of 35. To sum up, grab a handful from the first three field cuts to make a 100 gram sample. This is sample A. Repeat this for the remaining six field cuts to make samples B and C. These are then chopped up for drying in the microwave oven. 10 centimetre lengths, cut the leaves off first and stick them in the bottom. And what we always do, we do it at work as well, we keep the stems and we put them on top to microwave it. So that's your sample, that's your A sample, keep your bag with it because at work in particular, like we have hundreds of these and if your bag doesn't stay with the sample then you go, oh gee. The microwave dried samples and your completed submission form are sent off to Sunrise for analysis. Detailed instructions on performing the test are available from Sunrise. Following these instructions carefully will maximise the quality and the usefulness of the results that you get back. Good luck with your sampling.